So you're back again, yeah? Say nothing, say nothing, say nothing, say nothing. Why are the police so aggressive at times? Don't get it twisted. Certain police officers, a small minority, they are actually bad. The majority of police though, whether it's in the UK or in America, the majority of police are good. But why are some of the police, even out of the good ones, why are some of them still so aggressive at times? Teacher, parent, football coach, manager or supervisor at work. The common denominator between all of them is that those individuals are people who hold power, who are supposed to be in leadership, supposed to be in authority. Imagine a parent has a child that is disobedient, tries to step to them, tries to show the parent that they are above and beyond the parent. The parent has to come down on them like a ton of bricks. They need to cut them down to size. They need to show the child that they are the superior and the child is the inferior. Similarly, with a teacher, students trying it on, the teacher needs to show the child and other pupils around that everyone in this class must have the utmost respect for me as the teacher. Managers and supervisors at work, if they have employees beneath them, if they have inferiors who are not listening and following instructions that's a disrespect they need to show that employee and other employees around if you fail to do as i say there will be consequences and repercussions and it's the same thing with the police out on the street now don't get it twisted the police them is not your parent they're not your coach, they're not your manager, they're not your teacher. But at the end of the day, out on the street, out on road, the police them, they are supposed to be in the most authority. They're supposed to run the streets. They're supposed to be the baddest people around, quote unquote. So when you got man around, and gal as well, breaking the law, doing things they're not supposed to, or maybe just during a, a routine check, stop and search. Whether they really got grounds or any evidence or whatever to stop these people. When they're interacting with either criminals or people they're stopping searching on the road, when these people are giving them back chat, when these people are not behaving themselves, when these people are not showing the police utmost respect, the police have to be more aggressive. They can't allow people out on the street, criminals or people who are going to be criminals. They can't allow nobody to test them. They are supposed to be in the utmost authority out on the street. When the police stop and search people or they're giving instruction to the general public. If certain individuals think you know what? I don't have to listen to the police, you know. I can do whatever I want. I can be disrespectful. I can be disobedient. If the police let that slide, that's an invitation for anyone in the future to walk all over the police, to not follow instructions. The police need to have the utmost respect out on the street. When people don't follow the police's instructions and they're disrespectful, Others will see that and take advantage of that. You've seen videos where men are getting stopped and searched on the street and they're not having a bar of it from the police. A lot of the time, the police, they stop and search people and they're cool, calm and collected. But what ends up happening is the person who stop and search, they turn up their aggression. 
What do you think the police are going to do if an individual turns up their aggression? Oh, sorry, we've got the wrong person. Let, 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 let's go and pursue. No. If an individual turns up their aggression, well, the police are going to turn up their aggression to show that individual, you're not bigger than us. The police need to have the utmost respect out on the street. They cannot have people thinking that they can disrespect them. That nonsense, disrespecting the police. I've seen videos where men are holding up a phone in front of several police officers' face. Suck your mum, suck your mum, suck your mum and suck your mum. That would never happen in Jamaica. Do you know why? The Jamaican police don't fuck about, you know. Not all, but some are trigger happy. They don't pet to bust their gun. They would never get away with that in Jamaica. They would never try that in Jamaica. Do you know why? Because in Jamaica, the police are known for shooting people dead on the spot. When police do stuff like that in Jamaica, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not condoning it. I'm not justifying it. But when the police do that, they send a signal to anyone else. If you fuck with us, you will be dead. Don't get it twisted. There are some Jamaicans out there. They don't give a fuck. But the average person in Jamaica, oh, they have a high level of respect for the police because they know there's going to be consequences and repercussions for my behaviour if I don't respect the police. Now, I'm not saying the police in the UK or America need to go around shooting people dead to get respect. But you need to understand that the police need the utmost respect out on the street. That's why they're so aggressive with people when they don't want to listen to them. Think about how your mum dealt with you. Anytime you try to be disrespectful and rude or disobedient. Oh, I'm not coming in at that time. Well, they say, oh, it's all right. Take the piss. No. How did your teachers react? When you've been disobedient. When you wasn't following instructions. Oh, it's all right. Don't bother about attending that detention. Do what you want. Your manager at work. If you've ever not followed instructions, how did your manager react to that? Or do you always follow your manager's instructions at work? I bet you do. Because you know there's consequences and repercussions. So that's why the police act the way they do sometimes. Because they need to show people, they need to send the message out here. Don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with us. Me, I never get into no altercations or nothing like, like that with the people. I know how to play the fucking game. If you're an individual, first up, if you're an individual that stopped all the time out on the street, well, there's a problem there and you're too available to get stopped and searched. But if you do find yourself getting stopped and searched all the time and you're an aggressive person with the police and you find yourself getting into these altercations with the police, take Jay Wise's advice for once, please. Do this. Next time the police stop and search you, don't give them no attitude or nothing like that. Be compliant. See what response you get. Because I can't believe I'm the only person out here who gets positive responses, has positive interactions with the police. And I'm a black man. From the roads. Reason why I get positive responses from the police. Because I know how to play the game. I don't give them no attitude. I don't disrespect their authority. Don't get too see. The police are annoying sometimes. I remember they blocked the road near my mum's house the other day. And I showed them the permit. To basically say that I live on this estate and they said, no, you can't drive through here. You need to park your car up and then walk on foot. You know what? The police are in charge. They run shit. Cool. I'll park my car around the corner. I have to walk five minutes. So be it. I'm not going to sit in my car having a fucking argument with the police. Like that's going to get me anywhere. It's immature. Immature behavior to be going back and forth arguing with the fucking police. 
It's childish. Like a parent and a fucking child arguing. A mad incident's happened. A man's fucking drove into the police station. I'm aware of it. Why the fuck am I going to be arguing with the police? I'm going to try and see if I can get past them by showing them my past. But if they say no, fuck it. Fuck it. What am I going to stand up there and sit in my car and argue with the police? I'm a grown ass man. And that's the thing. A lot of you people, a lot of people out there who are sitting and arguing with the police, getting into altercation with the police, you're acting like a fucking child. You need to grow up. Grown man, responsible adults do not act like that. People have a purpose in this world, purpose in life. They don't act like that on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't act like that when they are coming in, into contact with the police. You think man like fucking Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg will be acting like that if they're confronted by the police? No. Yeah, I would expect that foolishness for some dumb rapper or something like that. Yeah, because them man, they're, a lot of them man, their mind is not in the right place. So that's basically why the police are aggressive towards people. They need to show people, you know what? You need to respect us, man. We're running the streets. We're the managers of the street. Just see the street as, as, as a workplace. The police are the managers. They patrol, they run things. And we are the employees. Yeah. If you want to break down the hierarchy to make it simple. They, in, they are in authority. We need to respect them at all times. That's it. And if you're not a criminal, you ain't got nothing to worry about anyway. Because there's 365 days in a year. Last year, the year before that. How many times have you stopped and searched? How many times have you had, have any interaction with the police? You're on the right path in life. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You might find yourself unlucky, get stopped by the police because you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you find yourself unfortunate, get stopped by the police because you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just be cordial, yeah. Let them talk, search you, search your car, whatever. Keep it moving. I guarantee your interactions with the police will be much shorter. It's, it's, it's funny how you people don't like the police. You hate the police with a vengeance. You hate their guts. But you're sitting there talking to them Allowing them to spend more time with you. That don't make no fucking sense. Stay wise.